Our fourth convert's the late Clive Staples Lewis, C.S. Lewis, uh, as he's known uh, to the broader world. Uh, this happens to be one of my favorite Christian converts of all time, one of my favorite authors of all time, one of my favorite Christians uh, of all time, uh, all time, the whole 2000 uh, year hi history of Christianity. Lewis had a, a mild uh, Roman Catholic background that largely got blown away when his mom died of illness and God didn't answer his healing prayer uh, for his mother. And then life went considerably down for him uh, as a young boy. And then he was tutored and educated really strongly, very, very well by non-believers, especially one of his tutors, atheist. Uh, you can read, he's, there's multiple biographies, uh, uh, authenticated biographies of, of C.S. Lewis. When he did convert out, he first became a theist. He said the most reluctant convert in all of, of, of England, literally being dragged in by, by the hounds of heaven by his collar. Uh, but he felt first the pangs of his naturalism and his atheism being first smug and prideful and then not making sense of a lot of his reality, not really helping him understand more consistently the things that made human life worth living. And then after a walk with his friend Dyson and J.R.R. Tolkien, he went with his brother Warney to a zoo and committed his life not just to theism but to Christian theism and came all the way in and then became one of the most prolific Christians. He's arguably the uh, greatest apologist and uh, Christian uh, intellectual of the 20th century. Um, it's been said of Lewis that he was so prolific and so gifted. Uh, again, Cambridge, Oxford trained uh, 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 intellectual, Christian intellectual, um, that in the future people will probably say C.S. Lewis is a cipher for multiple authors. He did fantasy, uh, he did sci-fi, uh, he'd do poetry, he did apologetics, he did some philosophy, and then he'd stick with his thing, uh, analysis of ancient and medieval literature. So uh, Lewis, an incredibly powerful Christian convert, converting from his, his nascent uh, and, and, and upbringing of atheism, general atheism, and uh, in that academic environment in the Ivy Leagues over in Europe, all the way from, from atheist to theist, reluctant theist, and then an even more reflective Christian theist.